Hey guys, we're at Canberra Rep tonight and it's opening night of Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead and wow, what a show and I'm here with the two leads tonight and thank you so much for joining me after that. Now that wasn't just a show, that was a marathon you guys <laughs> just ran. Was there any time you guys were off stage or were you on the entire time? I think in the interval we're off stage. Yeah, the interval. <laughs> Because it's such a demanding show. I mean, trying to remember all those lines, you're the centre of the tension at every single moment, practically. But what was probably the hardest thing for you guys? I mean, look, I think the hardest thing for us in this production was in COVID going into lockdown just before we opened last time. So the sort of heartbreak of bringing a show to opening and then it evaporates. So. So that, and then just not knowing what was going to happen and waiting, and so it's with tremendous gratitude and joy that we get to do it now. So I think for us that was the hardest. That's my yeah, no, definitely, yeah. I totally agree. And I think um, just holding it, like holding space for, because the dialogue is so non sequitur at moments and just so complex. Trying to keep it, and so we kept on meeting up during the break and trying to keep it fresh so that we didn't have to relearn it. But yeah. it meant that it had this eeriness to it because it's like the characters that where they're just stuck and they don't know what's going on yeah. and it was that uncertainty with COVID. It's when is it going to end? Yeah. Will we get to do this? All of that. Well you did it great. I really <laughs> enjoyed it and, and Lainey especially the way you were playing. <laughs> now I, I, I believe it's Rosencrantz and Guildenstern and yeah. Guildenstern and Rosencrantz. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, because it's based on Hamlet, and these are the two sort of side characters, um, what, what did you guys, what were you guys hoping to, to uh, give the audience with this show? Oh, look, did you have an answer? Yeah, no, you go, you go. Uh, uh, look, I, I think it's such a clever play. Um, and there's just so many layers that can be unpacked and harvested. And look, we're, we've been doing it for months and things are still, I'm still having aha moments. So I guess we want the audience to get some of those, but really just to be entertained, um, to, um, I guess, have a go at being in this world behind Hamlet and kind of wonder what that is and hopefully feel for these characters that are kind of pawns who are hopefully lovable but hopeless you know yeah i think that there's there's so much that you can take out of the play and depends what level you want to look at, look at it through it can be just a uh, very classical british like slapsticky comedy with wordplay and wit and and monty python-esque dial dialogue and and something that can just be really enjoyable but I think that the, the great thing that Stoppard does with the play is oscillate between those jovial witty wordplay moments and then these incredible truths of existence and questioning your own your own mortality and there's some moments where I think the audience is really taken on that roller coaster ride of laughing at death and then having a moment where it drops in and really lands for them and I think that that particularly at the moment like in uh, everything we've experienced the last couple of years globally it's something that's super relatable and where you've got to make light of situations and life happens in the bits where you're waiting for direction or waiting for the other things to happen and then it's all over. So it's, yeah, I think for me it's, it's take what you want from it. Like it's a bit of escapism, a bit of comedy, but also if you want to look deeper, I think there are those moments where Stop Art asks you to question your own mortality. It is really interesting writing and because it's, of course it's based in, on Hamlet, uh, so you really do this exploration you know, all over the place. And when I first went, I've heard about the show for years, ever since I started theatre, you know, 16 odd years ago, yeah. I'd heard this name of this play <laughs> and I was really interested to see what it was all about and I was really pleased that my limited exposure to Hamlet didn't matter. I yeah. could yeah, still right. really yeah. enjoy the show. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think, I totally agree. I think it's, it's super accessible that way. Um, I think the way to describe what Rosengill is, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead is about is by using Hamlet as the anchoring point, but it is really just an anchor, it's a starting point, and it's the inspiration. And he, he doesn't even, the, the, no, no prior knowledge of Hamlet is required um, to really get a lot out of the, out of the play. It's, it's very absurd. Um, it's, it's written very much in, in Stoppard style, um, 
and so yeah I think it's more if it's, it's the wordplay that you can catch every third or fourth reference you don't need to get everything but you can def definitely get something out of it yeah absolutely so congratulations congratulations getting it on stage <laughs> over all this time so well done thanks Richard now how long is the show running for three weeks so I think we close on the 5th of, 5th of March, March. Yep. so this week and then two other weeks we've got some matinees in there as well a Sunday show um, so we hope people can find time be brave come to the theatre and, and support the arts absolutely theatre is really coming back it's so great to see there's shows happening everywhere this is a fantastic one to get along to so do go and see it guys thanks for watching thank you guys very much thanks and we'll catch you guys next time bye for now bye.